Hello guys, how's it going? Got another Halo Wars 2 gameplay. Today playing as one of the new leaders, the Arbiter. I've made a video already on uh, Commander Jerome, and now I'm doing one as the Arbiter. So, straight off the bat, as you can see here, the Elites are in the pack now with dual plasma rifles. That is absolutely, that's really, really cool. And so we're going to see them in action. I think they shoot red plasma rifles, which is interesting, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so we're playing as the Arbiter, so we're going to see what he's all about. I know he's got the Phantom as his like passive as his special unit. He's got some other cool things here. His abilities are decent. They're not, not as good as uh, Jerome's abilities in terms of like, you know, um, just being unique and special and being a little bit overpowered. But he's got some cool things and some cool ideas. So uh, I have to see how he goes and I hope you guys enjoy and hopefully we can get the win. Uh, again, I'm doing a 1v1. I'm finding that 1v1 is the best way to play Halo Wars 2 at the moment, unless you're playing with friends. Just for the simple reason is when you do 2v2s and 3v3s, people can lag out, people can leave, or just whatever. So I prefer just to do the classic 1v1s and do it that way. But yeah, hopefully you guys yeah, will enjoy this and get some awesome gameplay and we can see the Arbiter and show him off a bit, go through his abilities, obviously. Um, so the first one here, the first... Uh, abilities you're greeted with is teleport one. So teleport your own units and then a set range. That's the same as the shipmaster. So that's something to keep in mind. And deploys mines that stun enemies and stun and immobilize enemy units. That's uh, I think I was going for teleport one. I think that's probably probably a better way to go. I've actually so you can pick up units. Oh, so you can teleport them. Yes, yeah, so this is where it gets really powerful because you can teleport them into Fog of War. So even if you can't see where, um, where you're teleporting them, you can still teleport them there, which is interesting. And um, that's where it gets really overpowered, like especially with Shipmaster and um, with Locust, when people like Locust Rush and they, you know, just just do they do that. They can, you know, get close to your base and just warp behind your base and absolutely just demolish you and get you by surprise, which is very, very annoying. And I'm sure all of you guys have experienced it you know, one time or another, um, if you do buy Halo Wars units. too. So we're going to go get as much energy as we can. I've got my one grunt squad up here, capturing the that big fat one of energy. And then I actually do want to capture this base first, before I do anything. That's one thing I really want to start working towards, is just multitasking a little bit better, getting second bases stuff up and, and, and whatnot. So this is the next tier of abilities, so Conduit of Rage, whenever a leader power is used, nearby units and structures heal and gain a brief boost to speed and damage. Okay, so cons consecutive leader powers extend that buff. Then we got Plasma Bolt, fires a Plasma Bolt at a targeted location. I think that's, I'm going to go for that one. Um, the offensive ability, I think that's kind of, kind of act like the Mac Blast that Excuse me. But that you would see leader has the AI. I forget what her name is, but I'm sure you guys know who it is. Uh, so we've got this mini base here, so I'm just going to whack a, a harvester on it. I'm going to move these grunts out and just capture this mini base and get some other some other small things. I love the grunt voice, or the elite voices, I'm assuming that is. I'm not overly happy with all the, uh, the Arbiter's voice isn't too bad. You'll hear him talk just throughout the, throughout the game. Yeah, I don't reckon it's overly impressive. It's not too bad, I guess, but I, I was hoping something much deeper. Something like the, um, like that, with the, the Hunter's voices, man. No, they were awesome, the Hunter's voices. Um, like the, the Colony Leader, sorry, I should call it the, by the proper name, I guess. Yeah, the Colony, that, that were, they were awesome. They had some really cool voice effects and the auto tune on them was really cool i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna i think he's gone around and taken most of the resources already which is fine i haven't really been paying attention um so if you do go just have a quick look at the grunts upgrades so i think the first one's active camo so it enables the elite to camo the the, the squad and of course we got the uh ghost the same as same as shipmaster excuse me just yawning a whole bunch um yeah, he's gathered a lot, like good on him for Harvester gathering a whole bunch of resources. A little bit annoying for me because now I don't have access to all those. But th that's fine, I'll be able to get everything back nice and quick. That won't be an issue. Because we're about to go to tech level 3. Um, I think I play the, I do the same for every game. Always, I always just rush straight for tech level 3. It's probably just the quickest way to go. Um, and the easiest way as well. So he's got a ghost up. That will just, that, that'll kill that unit, that's fine. Um, I'm about to start pumping benches out as soon as I get enough energy. Start upgrading all these harvesters and, and whatnot. I do want to get this to the next base tier so I can whack a um, ca active camo thing on it and turrets and stuff. I do want to get that Mini to level 3 complete. first or the next level before I start doing anything with that. 
Actually, Apex I'm going to put just a raid camp just here. Alright, so we'll get the Arbiter out, we might as well. So, armed with two plasma swords, fast moving, rage ability causes great damage. Now, I have seen gameplay of the raid, just not the same as the Halo Wars, like the original Halo Wars rage, which is Fortress what I expected. He kind of just put him into rage mode and he just does the effective rage by himself when you tar tell him to target enemies. So, the next Great set of tiers is unlocks the Phantom for purchase at your base, and then Elite. Spirit Assault, so it deploys four squads of elite uh, veteran elite enforcers. So it's not too bad, we'll go with the Phantom and I will show that off. But here we have the Arbiter, looking absolutely just amazing. Um, I don't like the way he stands still, but still that his armor looks so cool. And um, the way he runs is very similar to the original Halo Wars, which is awesome. He's just an absolute beast and it's one of my favorite leaders, well, actually one of my favorite characters of all time from the Halo Wars series is uh, the Arbiter. Just such a cool character. Um, and it's just a cool story behind him. If you've played the original Halo Wars games, you know what I'm talking about. Not Halo Wars games, just Halo games in general, to be honest. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, but... Yeah. Some of you may even survive this. So... I'll just leave that for now. I've just got the hit just in case I need to go counter units. Like, get hunters out or get, um... Elite rangers out, if I need it. Like I said, just go counter. But at the moment, that should be fine. I'm just gonna upgrade everything just to get max supply production. It's because the Banshees are very heavy on supplies, so I just want to get um, as much su supplies capacity as possible. So the first upgrade on is Swift Fury. Increases speed, increases damage and health. Rage Attack Augmented gains health. So that's pretty cool. Augmented Follows a similar kind of uh, line as Augmented it did in the original Halo Wars. That, that, that kind of tiering of upgrades and, and whatnot. So we'll do the Swift Fury. Um, we'll get him maxed upgrade as fast as possible. It's going to start pumping out my Banshee army, and we might start pushing, make a little attack, and hopefully All see how this Arbiter goes. I do just want to quickly sacrifice this Grunt squad. Hopefully can't hear that my heater, guys. I do have my heater on. Um, hopefully can't hear it. Should be right. It's nice and quiet. So this here is upgraded now. I just want to whack a cloaking generator on that one, and then I'll do another Harvester. Just to, again, progress the amount of supplies I can be producing. Uh, let's just upgrade that one. Um, I think I might go for reinforcements first. Just because I think Banshees are worth... Are they only worth three? It's not too bad. So we've got their little base thing here. I can actually have a look real quick what they've got on it. Just a harvester, which is pretty typical for those mini bases. Just to whack harvesters on it or something smaller. And um, yeah. I will get another Apex just so I can use this Apex as this one here for doing upgrades. For for my um for like the, you know like the the damage and health upgrades the air upgrade as as a whole, so he's got his arbiter out as you can see. He's activated the rage and we'll actually use that to see the rage against my own unit. As you can see, just does the same effect, just that very quick attack, um like boom boom yeah. And I think he wasted his um one of his blasts on it. So we got power surge. So the cooldown of all leader costs is power. Oh, the cooldown and cost is reduced. So I'm gonna go for that one first. The other one, that part of that tier is stasis, so place units in a temporary stasis to protect or neutralize enemies. So it's kind of like an offensive and defensive um, deal, like um, dealing active power. So the next, I think it's the last upgrade, so Conduit Incarnate. Activating special ability triggers Conduit of Rage, re reduces Rage cooldown, increase health and damage. Good stuff, nothing to complain about there. Very happy overall. I will start doing the air upgrades. I'm just going to push my troops up to the front of this base. Location confirmed. Oh, is that when you, confirmed. That's when you do that. I'm just going to whack two turrets on this one and a shield generator as soon as I can. So we're looking pretty good now. I'm going to start doing the fortify upgrades. Conduit now we should be research. good. I will just do a couple of elite rangers just to be able to deal with the Arbiter. I, I'm assuming he's not going to be like, he's just like any other leader. He's going to be good, but he's not going to be a big deal. I uh, should be able to take him out pretty easily, but you know, it's always good just to have the counter units just to drop him really quick. So I'm assuming, it'll be interesting to see if the Rage can attack air units. Like again, in the original Halo Wars, he obviously couldn't attack air units, but when you put him in Rage, you could get up to those air units and, and take him out. So he's actually got one more upgrade. I think he has four upgrades. So Arbiter's Respiral. Um, when attacked, the Arbiter returns some damage of that attack to his um, attacker. Same as Halo Wars 1, I forget what it was Air called, like... Researched. No, it wasn't Blinding Rage, I forget what it was, a name to it. But yeah, he could reflect uh, incoming damage uh, straight off him. 
So that, that, that was a really cool ability and it actually did some like solid damage. Like it wasn't just a little bit, it actually really f reflected damage. So that, that was really good. <coughs> so we got a bit of an army building up right now. Complete. Uh, we're looking pretty good. As soon as I get these banshees out and whatnot, uh, I'll be able to push and uh, start taking out some of the um, enemy's bases. So we just kind of get start moving towards the middle. There's that beautiful arbiter. It does look cool that the art design for him is awesome. I've always just just the armor on him it looks so good. So we'll just take out this mini base real quick. It's gonna it's gonna attract unwanted attention, but it's, it's it should be fine. Cool. There's the arbiter in in action. <laughs> the sound effects, Arbiter's the screams, researched. Arbiter's reprisal. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So it actually gives him like a little dome to, to, to signify that he's um, protected. That's interesting. I do like that. It is cool, but I, I don't know if I like the shield around him, but it's whatever because that, that, that's just cool and unique, I guess, if anything. He's going to whack that mini base there. It's just a sign of uh, just like a bit of scout. I don't know what he's doing here. No, keep moving. These banshees drop that ghost super fast, so... All yeah, too easy. Alright, we can keep pushing. I'm just gonna sit all my troops just there. We did get air level 2, so let's go straight to air level 3. And pump out more banshees. He might go... What's anti-air? Reavers. Yeah, should be alright. I do want to chuck a shield generator on that. And then some base defense on this one. Got a couple of engineers up just to obviously do some healing, some repairs on my units. Wow. Yeah, that's fine. This is why we have the, just the elite rangers to deal with this, this trash mobs. Because they can drop them so quick, the rangers. This should be an easy kill. Cool. And again, as the leaders, when they get to max level, they do get that massive amount of health and shield, which is absolutely amazing. I do like that, 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 that idea. So I knew he would probably do this, so let's just utilize that. It's not too bad. Did a little bit of damage, I guess, but I'm going to have to build hunters just to be able to deal with these um, as best I can. So let's activate the Arbiter's Rage and see what that does. We're going to lose most of our banshees. As you can see here, it makes a ring and buffs all the units around me, which is... That's really, really cool. So we might be able to beat this, actually. I think we'll just activate the shield generator on that. He's going absolutely ham, the Arbiter. There's that plasma burst thing. We actually might be able to take most of these guys out. Even though we did go counter, um, we should be good. Just going to move everything onto here to be able to drop the shield generator and stuff, because like, I have got the engineers. So let's just pump out all our resources into Banshees and get the last advanced logistics just to, again, improve the speed time, the, the train time of my of my units. As long as we can get rid of these counter the anti-air units, we should be alright. Um, again, this is why I keep the second Apex, just so I can do stuff like that and be able to build up. Let's just bail the troops out a little bit. Oh, the hunters use that. Okay, cool. Hopefully that like, I've lost so many trips to that that bridge just failing on me. Um, I, sh I will build a phantom and show you guys what the phantom is about. But we do get the last tier, so mass stasis places units within a large target area to temporarily does the same thing, and then mass cloaking. I think that's what I'm going to do is go for the mass stasis because I actually haven't used that yet. That is massive, and I did lose a hunter for that just then. I think that's fine, not a problem. So just because he had the cloaking, I'm just trying to get some engineers over there. Just because I can't see his base until until I get the engineers. So I think yeah, the banshees only take like five seconds now to train. That's why I wanted to get them the, the maximum logistics because it helps out heaps with uh, this kind of stuff. But there is the phantom, as you can see there. Art style pretty similar to all the original phantoms, is slightly different. But he's got a lot of anti-air just camping here. So if I push up, yeah, he's got dropping my units so fast. They just sit in their our fog of war, and we can't do anything. But I should be able to push on the home base and do a little bit of damage on it. It is cloaked, obviously. That's not a surprise at all. I do need that engineer to hurry up and come over, though. So 
I feel like. Oh, that's the mastitis. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's interesting as. Okay. That's interesting. So I'm just gonna do the same back to him, I think. Yeah. Boys, that's interesting as. And he just mass cloaked. All units. Can we attack them? At your no, we can't. This mass stasis is units. weird. It. That's so interesting. I don't know. All and he units. just straight teleported his troops. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, that, that stasis idea. Um, not as good as what I thought it would have been, but it does something, I guess. It's gonna rage the Arbiter just because he's so overpowered when he's raged. So I'm try to get some damage down on his base. I am gonna hot extract the... Actually, I'm gonna leave the Arbiter in there as long as I can. It's a shame, I, th I would have hoped the Arbiter could have detected units. Um, obviously not. I'll be able to get him out though with that rage. So, I need more Banshees. And I might, yeah, definitely more hunters. I do, I do want to get the beam cannon. Nah, that does help a lot. Actually, what I could do is I might go for the typical scarab boys. Um, they'll have no chance if I pull a scarab up on them. They're, they're pretty much gone. GG. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll get the scarab out. I know it's pretty generic and pretty used, overused, but the, the scarab is amazing. Um, such a great unit overall. So we'll go for that. So I won't even shouldn't. Yeah, because I'm going to go for different kind of units. I shouldn't need that. And I can get the next level of sub, um, reinforcements. Which is which should be fine. Um, let's just go... Just getting a phone call. Back in a sec, guys. Alright, guys. I'm back. I'll just cut that little bit out of my voice. Um, but yes, we got our Scarab up. So we should be good. He just did a... I don't even know. I kind of missed what he attacked us with there. Um, not a problem at all, though. I'm just going to start pumping out Banshees. And I should have let that upgrade go through. I just wanted to rush the, the that as fast as I could. So he's not going to be ready for the Scarab. Um, not at all. Reinforcements level two so we should be able to take him out nice and all easy. And he vehicles. just teleported his units out of there. Fair enough. I would have done the same thing. Scarab still is overpowered as it is. Does so much work so quickly. Let's just get out some counter units right now. Cool, he got rid of them. Awesome. Pull our troops back to the front here. And I will get some engineers out. Let's get three of them. What's anti Ah, oh, hunters are anti-vehicle. I always forget what the um, covenant anti-vehicle is. It's hunters, so... That is fine. I will do the upgrade on those just to make them a little bit stronger. I did do the beam cannon upgrade, so that's already massive for them. But let's just push them even further. All units. Yeah, I do have a decent army at the moment, actually. Plus, it was max the rest out on banshees. They do train pretty quick, so we'll be able to get straight back into the fight. Leader point earned. Did get a leader point. So I think I'll put it into... I don't know how I feel about the stasis. I don't know how I feel about the stasis at all. So let's just go Plasma Bolt 2. Because by the looks of it, I didn't seem like I could attack the enemies while they were in stasis. Which is interesting. Um, it's whatever, I guess. There is a base up here I could go trash. Which I might do that real quick with Banshees. As long as it's not cloaked. Um, I should be able to trash that base instantly. Local units. Let's just group these banshees together just so I can All quick units. select them. Group one assigned. Awesome. I shall on the move. And it Enemy would be close. Yeah, back up, back up. Researched. I do just want to drop this base. Um, I got the Scarab in the Arbiter defending my home base. That should be fine. Just send all my air units. Uh, over here, and we should be able to drop that pretty quickly. I don't want these to go up. These need to stay back. I just want the portion of air units to go up and take them out. All 
local units. Let's use the shield just so they can get in a bit closer. The are than I there we go. Should be good. Doesn't look like they have a shield generator. Oh, they might have a shield generator up, actually. Yeah. Should be alright. Should be able to take it out. I can probably pull... Yeah, all my troops up to here now, actually. Let's just go here. Mass stasis. Oh, I couldn't even do it, boys. Let's activate it there now. There we go. That just kind of get, it's actually not too bad an ability because now it just gives me time to just move everything up. I forgot you can't teleport the bloody um, Scarab, I always forget that. And we can't attack them, which is again interesting, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, now all war is going to break out, let's just drop that there, they're all moving that way. I mean, we should be able to wipe this enemy army out, he's got mostly wraiths and of course Banshee's being uh, anti, anti um anti-vehicle, or well, generally sorry, air fall. units being anti-vehicle, so we'll be able to take him out nice and easily. Once the Scarab's there, like I was saying, should be good. He's got a mass cloaking going on. Oh! Oh, so it does do like a times two effect. And he can get the... And he can stasis the Scarab, boys, that's crazy. As long as we can keep pumping out units. He's gone all hunters all to try counter my Scarab, which is interesting. I do want full reps on the Scarab though. The all units. Let's keep pushing. Um, just, this is why we have counter all units units. all the time. Just to try to drop these hunters now. All units. I did lose my Arbiter, all which is interesting. I don't know when he went down. And he just dropped another stasis on me. Uh, we're gonna back up, take a break, um, see what we can do and rebuild up um, some of our troops. Get some repairs onto everything. Let's just get everything onto there. Actually, let's repair this one engineer first. So our scarab's pretty much full. He's max health now, I just want to get the other engineer up just so we're all at, at one level. So they're all, all healed up nice and nice and you know nice and well. This turned out to be quite a good game actually. We've you know had our counter all units gonna come a little bit back and forward, but it's it's, it's quite good. It's good, good good action showing off the arbor as a whole. Um, good leader, good leader, got good abilities. He'd be if he wasn't against all himself, units. like an arbor against an arbiter, it'd be a good fight. Um, he's got some interesting things like the stasis is is interesting. Um, I actually don't mind it. Like it's weird because he can't. I think you should you should be able to attack enemies while in stasis. I just realised that there's the the reclaimer um, sentinel. Uh, I reckon you should be able to attack uh, units while they're in stasis, but that's just how they've done it, I guess, just to balance it out. It is good to like stop units, uh, just to stop their army in, in position, and then I can move my units up closer. But we should have enough force now to kind of push up. If I drop the banshees back. And then push up, just so I have the benches on the back lines, just so they don't get taken All out units. straight away. And I do All want an engineer units. to push straight up. So obviously we're going to have to get through the shield generator first. I'm going to drop this engineer back a little bit. So it is like, act like the um, Mac Blast from the original Halo Wars. Which is cool, and that Scarab is going to get wrecked, boys. Like, I do have enough resources to just straight replace that. Uh, let's just go for a stasis, level 1. Just so I can chuck some units in. I'm going to miss it. Doesn't matter, too easy. I do have some units up, so we can finish off. Um, should be able to finish this base off. All units. Uh, what units do I have? Four, seven. Still got two engineers, so let's just replace one of those engineers. And then, oh, whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. And then all banshees again. All units. Leader power ready. Should be able to drop this base. Just quickly focus fire these these units over here. All units. Let's just keep the units out of that anti-air fire. We should be able to finish this base off, hopefully. 
As long as we just keep pumping it, we should be good. Awesome. Okay, now we can focus the um, other uh, enemies. Let's take out this anti-air first. Let's just drop the shields up. Stasis. Fair play, fair play. Put Arbiter on Arbiter, boys. I love it. This is actually All epic. Units. I like it. He's got he's got good forces, man. It's a good game. Um, he's dropping my banshees pretty quick. We do have a scarab back, so it's going to help a ton, obviously. Where's my arbiter? So much just shit flying everywhere. Should be able to finish this army off, though. Wow. That was intense. So I think I lost all my engineers, so I'm going to have to replace engineers. Let's get three of them back up. And then pump out all the banshees again. I am all units. All units. Why would you just rebuild that? Come on. Leader power ready. All units. All units. Alright. Let's just drop this base Enemy so he can't finish destroyed. it. And then drop these units. Artillery. He already got a decent chunk of health off my Scarab, but if we can keep pushing, we should be fine. Just keep pushing onto him. Actually, I might just stop here for a second, just regroup. Those Reavers, man, so, so, so powerful. I'm just trying to think of someone I can replace. If I could f switch out Wraiths, we still got a lot of anti uh, vehicle, though. So, no matter what I go, he's going to be able to d defeat me. I do have my stasis. The massive one. So that's good. good big, big help. I think the next upgrade I do is just the Elite Spirit Assault. Just because that'd be good just to get um, Rangers into the battle instantly. All units ready to fight. Alright, let's get another thing of hunters in this joint. Uh, how many banshees have I got? Nine. Let's just let's remedy that. Let's get more banshees. Just got to keep an eye on my resources though, just so I always have enough to rebuild the Scarab if it ever goes down. Let's just move all those Banshees over there, get everything nice and clumped up. Cool. Those Engineers are going in, healing up my units, which is good. Giving them health back. Got my Rangers on uh, Tier 1, so that's always nice. Got to take that base real quick. What base? That base. Oh, boys. That's a lot of counter units. That's this is my Scarab boys. is about to get wrecked. So that's why we're going to go like this. Just grab all their units. Just to stop some of them. So we can push up and... He's going to counter stasis me back. Oh, <laughs> As soon as this drops, I'm just gonna. All units. All units. Oh boys, what a shit show! Did we kill everything? Wow! Wow, boys, we did. We got everything just then. That's intense, as I don't know what happened. It must have been those those um EMP those plasma bolt things. That was decent, as. Uh, she's got to keep pushing. I need to get the engineers over here. I am, being I am going to stasis this turret real quick. Hope he doesn't grab my arbiter, which it didn't. So we should be good. That's a mass stasis straight back onto me. <laughs> Dude, all this stasising. It's an interesting ability. It, it really is. Um, all units. All units. I don't know how I feel. It, it's, it's in, it really is interesting, boys. It really is. Uh, let's just go that, and then so I can call that in straight away. And we should be able to finish him here, I'm going to say. There's a lot of stuff on screen. 
Let's just rage my Arbiter up as well. Oh, hello there. Goodbye, Scarab, and hello, another Scarab. I'm just going to call one in straight away. The enemy's infantry is targeting me. All units. If we can finish these these units off. All units. Let's just keep the hunters lasering the base. How dare they fire on me? Local units. I can just. Oh, there are only rangers that dropped. It didn't. Oh, it wasn't. Um. Okay. It wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be the anti-unit ones, but it wasn't. All units. That should be alright then. Let's get more Banshees in. All units. Running a little bit low on resources, that's fine. If we can drop this base, that'd be good, obviously. Oh, we're getting good damage on it. The Arbiter Man, so powerful. So, so powerful. I can't get over it. Ah, we got our Scarab back. Should be good now. That ability is, is decent. I do like it. Let's just rage my Arbiter up. Should be able to take everything out that, that's in this little area. Just get him to drop that little shield protector thing. Oh, the Arbiter Man is getting healed faster than he can be killed, I think, kind of. Nah, he's going to get dropped. Okay, if I can get a whole bunch of counter units in. I did lose my Arbiter, so let's replace. I should have kept pumping the base. This is an interesting game, boys. This really is an interesting game. Local units. Can I make a Pacific one for that? Yeah. I just want to warp all those units as close as I can to this area. Actually, I don't want to pull that Scarab up yet. Let's just bail all our troops back. Get them out of there. That is an absolute shit show right there, boys. All units. Uh, we're going to need more hunters again. Oh, no, no, no. Just mostly anti uh, the anti infantry units. He's got a lot of hunters, so that Scarab's going to keep getting dropped pretty quick. We've got a decent amount of counter units each, so. This has turned out to be an interesting game, boys. I, ho I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, if you are, drop a like, comment, tell me what you think about it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. We're 35 minutes into this, well, 33 minutes in, 35 minutes recording of this crazy, crazy game. Uh, hopefully we can pull the win off. We're, we're very, a little bit back and forward, which is interesting. I do have this base up here to deal with still. But I want to, if I can get his home base, that'd be a good cripple, because that's where most of his stuff's sitting. All units. So that's my main goal right now, is to drop that. If I can get rid of that, which should be good. All units. Actually, no, I'm going to go for this base again. If I pull all units up, I should be able to drop that. Um, it is going to give him time, though, to rebuild this, which is a little bit annoying, but... Like I said, it's going to take time for him to get that all back up and running. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to attack his other base. I'm going to upgrade that there to the next stronghold tier. I don't like how the Banshees push up so quick. Do have the Plasma Bolt too. So, that was interesting. I didn't know that the Plasma Bolt acted like the Mac Blast too. Like, how it can fire two shots off in one go. Okay, that's why I like why it was level 2. So I do think they still have the shield generator on this base. So we're just going to have to pump that shield generator first before we can do anything. But the Scarab should be able to drop that pretty quick. Hit the Rage on the Arbiter. If we can base trade here, that'd be interesting. Go Rage, Arbiter. Rage. Arbiter. Rage, there we go. If we can drop this base, that'd be a good arm. Um, it'll give us a good hand um, on the enemy. Cool. And he, we're going to base trade here, which is, actually, that's fine, that's fine. I do want to keep a Banshee here, though, just, just, yeah. Because I'm going to lose my base up here, definitely. The enemy has destroyed one yeah. of our buildings. Group one assigned. Cool. We'll show you true power. Is this base ready for taking? Let's just take this All base. Units. Cool. I did stasis them just to slow them down just a tad, just so I can get up there. This is where it comes in handy. This gave me time to get up to where I needed to be. 
Let's just go like this. That's that's so cool. It reminds me so much of the Mac Blast from the original Halo Wars. I love it. That was just the greatest thing to do, especially when the enemy had a Scarab. Just quad Mac Blast and just take it out so quick. So let's get rid of the Hunters first. Oh, that still got me. Right, I'm going to do that straight back at him. Oh, that got my Arbiter. Oh, no, it didn't. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yes, it did. We are losing a power node. Alright, we did lose that base, that's that's fine. Let's just put anti vehicle. Let's just go whack anti everything on these. All units. He did mass stasis on me. That's fine, that's fine. He's gonna probably gonna come straight back up to here. I need to upgrade that as fast as possible. And I do need to get this base back. The enemy has captured our power node. Let's Turret try to drop this arbiter if we can. Turret improved. All units. Cool. All right, we'll, we'll hang back. We'll hang back. I just want to try to get that base up before he comes and attacks it, so I can get a cloaking generator All on it. Units. But we do have the upper hand, so I'm going to keep pushing and try surprise attack his home base. Turret improved. Turret improved. Uh, why don't I have a shield generator on that? Come on, boys. What do you wish of me? I'm leaving everything a little bit undefended. It's hard to say where he's going to be. Units. Um, I guess we just found attack. him. Please don't be this base. Thank complete. you. Yeah, all of his units are here. Awesome. That gives me time to do the a little bit of rebuilding. So I'm going to whack cloaking, shielding, and then just a ton of um, supply pads. Or, all sorry, harvesters. Units. All units. I don't have any Tower abilities I can really use yet. Let's all just drop units. the shield on him. There's so many units here. He just teleported out. He teleported behind me, behind me, behind me. That's such a it's, a, it's such a viable strategy. Oh, boys! He just did that the triple blast on my um thing, on my scarab. That wrecked me. I got nothing to counter that, except I do have my triple blast now. Let's just put it all in one spot. It's going to get rid of a good chunk of his units. Hunters. Actually, no, I need to get that Scarab back up. He just drops the Scarab so quickly, though. Yeah, I'm going to lose the Arbiter. Nah. Oh, that leaves me completely undefended right now. Um, yeah, that leaves me completely undefended. I'm just gonna. Mm, mm, should start training some things. Let's go, hunters. This base is going full supply pads, which is good. I should better get me something back. Leader power ready. This base I'm not too worried about because I got that base back there now. Actually, I do need to put a harvester on this base. Ah, uh, so ex um, power extractor. Let's upgrade all these. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming hard. As long as he's got no de Reavers can detect. I always forget that. Reavers Leader do detect. Earned. Which is incredibly annoying. Um, what can I upgrade? Let's just go Power complete. Surge 2. Make everything Augmented go a little bit faster. Upgrade complete. All units. Just put everything there. Leader power ready. This will be interesting to see what happens. He might get me here, boys. He might get me here. Our base is under attack. I'm not going to have enough resources to fight it. Yeah. Do get my Scarab up, but it's not going to be enough. All units. And he's obviously got mass cloaking on all his units, so I can't see shit. There we go. Are you kidding? The achievement boys? Yeah. Nah, we might get beaten here. He's got a good hold on me. Dude, the Scarab gets dropped so quick. Nothing I can do. Nothing. Even with the mass stasis, it's not going to give me enough time to rebuild. Not a chance. Leader power ready. Can that damage? 
That can't damage, boys. Are you kidding? Units. I should have waited on that. I do have a ton of elite rangers, though. So many laser beams. The enemy has destroyed one of our buildings. All units. Come on, rangers. Attack them. Local units. All units. Yeah, he can just keep moving around. This is probably the end of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. Um, we didn't, unfortunately, get the win, but I'm still going to upload this because it just shows great gameplay of the Arbiter, just just how, how strong he can be. Unfortunately, though, we were fighting another Arbiter, and that was probably the downfall of this video. If I had been fighting someone else, it probably would have been a more viable, uh, more viable way to go. Our base is under attack. Actually, this might not be the end, boys. We might be able to have a little comeback here. I don't have enough resources, though, so he's going to have so many more, so much more resources than me to be able to counter everything. Uh, if I go... Wait a second. Still got a lot of Reavers up, but we should be all right, actually. We might be, might be able to get... He's still got so many Reavers, boys. I don't have enough Hunters or anything. Um... Oh, well, that was good. Everything's shielded back up. Yeah, they get killed so quick. Let's just change that to Vehicle Foundry if I can. Back to nothing. Wow. Leader power ready. And here comes the final flak. This would be a little bit annoying, I guess. Stasis. It is a cool ability. It is really cool, actually. I do like it. The whole stasis thing. Foundry constructed. Oh, does that stop the training? It sure does, boys. That stops the training of the units inside it. Wow. Wow. All right, let's just go crazy with that. That's actually such a. That's pretty cool. I like that ability. I do like that, indeed. My wraiths aren't trained up, though. That's the thing. Oh, disgusting. He obviously knows what's going on. What I'm, what I'm trying to do. The enemy has destroyed one of our buildings. Like I said, guys, I hope you did enjoy some just amazing Arbiter gameplay. Unfortunately, not getting the win, but it did show good gameplay of the Arbiter, and I was happy with it. And we got to see a little bit of everything. Got to see mo all of his abilities, except mass cloaking, which I wasn't too worried about because the the um. Shipmaster does have that ability, the mass cloaking, so it wasn't anything overly new. But I might just go here and uh, there's nothing I can do, boys. We're just stuck in a loop. I don't have enough resources to counter everything. So, there we go. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Something a little bit different. My first loss I'm going to upload, but I personally think it's worth uploading. Shows the Arbiter. It shows both Arbiters so you can see them both um, in play. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, if you did like it, hit the like button. Tell me what you think in the comments if you want to see more. There definitely will be more Halo Wars 2 gameplay coming. More Jerome probably. I do prefer Jerome. He's really, really powerful. I'll just have a look at the stats real quick here. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Lots of units destroyed and built. And if you did, enjoy. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good day.